Here in the Northeast, we're talking about some excessive heat, and it looks like our heat uh, index values could be topping uh, right around 100 degrees or more. And then turning a little bit more unsettled by the end of the week with some severe weather potential and also some locally heavy rain. Uh, daytime highs yesterday topping out into the 80s and 90s, but look at this upper 90s from Boston to Philadelphia. D.C. was at 97, Buffalo, New York at 90 degrees as well. So anywhere from 10 to almost 15, even close to 20 degrees above average for Boston, New York. So uh, we do have heat advisories continuing from Boston down to New York and Philadelphia. Excessive heat warnings in place out near Cincinnati and southern Ohio. Uh, feels like temperatures, though, will be, again, very similar to daytime highs yesterday into the mid to upper 90s, even some triple-digit uh, heat index values. So definitely dangerous levels of heat out there for uh, folks if you have any outdoor plans. Again, there's your daytime highs in the upper 80s to low to mid 90s. It look, looks a little hotter in Charleston at 96 degrees, but there there is a general thunderstorm threat from Boston to Buffalo down to Charleston, West Virginia. And then as that front pushes in to the region for Thursday, we could have a marginal risk of severe weather in a few spots over the northern New England states and continuing into Friday. So we'll be watching this run pretty closely. Should start off on a fairly quiet note. With showers and storms developing in some locations into the northeast. Hopefully it'll dry out just in time for fireworks tonight. And then watching that additional threat kind of shifting east into the region with locally heavy rainfall.